Hello, this is Derek from Inflatable Sup Authority. And today we are doing the Nixie Newport G4 review. Just out on the water here. We're out in beautiful Bunsen Lake, British Columbia, which is actually kind of busy today. And today we're just gonna show you some on-water footage of the Nixie board, how it handles, and I'll also be showing you how steady it is when you stand up. Stay tuned. All right, folks, so now we're going to stand on the Nixie Newport G4. And for those kind of just getting started or they want to actually kind of figure out how to stand on the board, what I do is I make sure I have like a little bit of paddling momentum. It's kind of the same thing as riding a bike in terms of like, it's a lot easier for you to get on as soon as it's moving. Although well, I wouldn't say it's a lot easier, but it definitely helps. So get a little bit of momentum going, some gentle paddles. And now that we glide, we put the paddle right here to kind of stabilize the board. Make sure that the paddle does not dip into the water like that, because then that can kind of destabilize the board. Next, what you do is you stand, you bend your knees, do like sort of a squat motion, and then you're up and you're just paddling. So initial impressions of this board is it's actually pretty stable. It's 33 inches wide. So yeah, it actually that extra inch, you can kind of see the stability. My previous board would be a heck of a lot more rickety. Like just in terms of trying to get on, even if I was at a standstill, I would kind of be like, whoa. But this board actually kind of plant, feels like it plants itself on the water a bit and yeah like it's not too bad and when I do this it feels controlled there's no unexpected movements so yeah for like calm lake conditions the Nixie Newport G4 is actually perfect so right now I'm just standing on the board and you can see actually that these little little dots there those kind of are like a placement for beginners where you can put your feet i mean really you can put your feet sort of anywhere around the middle of the board and it'll be okay but it's just kind of a nice guide to have and so as you can see like i'm not paddling at all and i'm not as as you can kind of see with my feet a little bit i'm not really adjusting very much like it's just a little bit, tiny little movements, but really not much. So A plus, honestly, like for stability, this is a really great board. And just even for some of the quality accessories you have, like right over here, you can mount GoPros, um, rod holders, even if you're into fishing, which actually I might have to get some and uh, cup holder as well as a few other things from the Nixie shop. So it's really pretty handy. So as for tracking, the Nixie board actually tracks pretty dang well. Um, wow, dang. <laughs> I, that sounds like a weird thing that like a redneck would say. Anyway, the Nixie actually tracks pretty well. I mean, I'm doing some like casual paddles here and it's going straight. There's very little correcting that needs to be done. That's thanks to its three fins. The way Nixie's designed the fins is actually pretty nice. Like the fins you could tell are very well designed. So, I mean, really this board has gone through a few generations and you could just tell a big difference in terms of like the evolution of the new port boards. Okay, next I'm gonna show you the speed of this board. Now I think it'll be a little bit hard to tell how fast this board can really go because you don't have a huge, um, you don't really have an indicator. You just kind of have like black water according to this footage of the camera here. So we'll point it a bit to the land and I'll start kind of motoring and you can kind of see how fast that this board can go here. Just doing stronger strokes, you know, 
correcting a little bit whenever you do a strong stroke. Something you kind of get used to once you start paddling a bit more. So I'm going to that rock there just for you to kind of get an idea, make sure you don't crash in it though. That'd make for a funny video, I guess. So with tracking, anytime you want a board that tracks very well, you're gonna have to sacrifice a little bit of maneuverability just because it's really pretty hard to get both, to be honest. Uh, my old board it used to have actually really good maneuverability. Like if you had a few side paddles like this, the board would start to kind of tilt to the right a bit more. But because this has, this board is well designed and made for tracking, we shall just go straight for the most part. Like I'm, I've done at least what, like three, four, five paddles to the right now and it's sort of tilting to the left, but it's still tracking very well. So I was supposed to do sweep turns, but then I kind of rambled on and forgot what I was doing. <laughs> okay, so this is how the board sort of behaves on a sweep turn. So we'll just kind of make it go on a stop and we'll just go backwards. So, I mean, in terms of that, it's actually pretty maneuverable. Like if you do those, those sort of sweeping turns, I mean, I'll even do a demonstration going forward here. So, see, you can kind of sweep turn. We'll see if we can do this without hitting the land here. Oh yeah, very good. So yeah, that's kind of a demonstration of how the board turns whenever you really kind of want to make those turns. Hey guys, it's Derek here. Just paddling right at White Rock Beach towards the east end. And I just wanted to shoot this video to show what the on-water performance is in ocean conditions. Now, this is pretty shallow and the waves, I would say, are pretty calm. But I just feel if you're interested in this board, you'd like to know how it feels, you know, in lake conditions and ocean conditions. So there's a little bit of waves. So you can see we're just kind of paddling along. You can still kind of have a little stability test here. It's not too bad. We'll do a little sweep stroke. Just like this. So, I mean, still pretty steady. If you look close enough as well, you can kind of see the bottom. I really like this part of White Rock Beach because sometimes you can see all kinds of little ocean critters and whatnot. So if you're in the White Rock area, paddle east and you'll see a whole bunch of cool things. So the paddle I'm using is actually the paddle that comes with the Nixie G4. It's called the Carbon Hybrid 90. And I actually kind of like it, honestly. Um, when I first got it, I was like, no, man, I'm just gonna, you know, stick to my carbon fiber paddle. But uh, I've actually grown to really like this paddle. It's not too bad. It's pretty lightweight, so like your paddle strokes can be powerful. Wow. You know, it still maintains its lightweight integrity. Like this thing is at about, it's at about pretty much the maximum height. And so whenever I'm really digging in, it doesn't feel like it's going to, you know, be cheap or and snap or anything. Like you can tell it is made from good quality materials. So yeah, in terms of the paddle quality, you know, I'd say pretty good, pretty good indeed. So overall, the on-water performance for the Nixie Newport G4 is like pretty good. It's, I was actually expecting 
the on water performance of this board to be not as good as it is I act as it is when I tried it so yeah I'm actually pretty impressed with the speed the tracking went far beyond what I thought because the board is listed at 33 inches now it's not like you know deal breaker for tracking or anything like that but it does make a little bit of a difference but the way Nixie has designed the board like I've seen myself paddling against other people that have like eye rockers or whatever and the board can keep up just fine with these 31 inch boards 32 inch boards now would I use this paddle board in a sup race probably not and I you know I don't think it's fair to really compare this to racing boards or anything like that because that's not what it's used for this is more of an all-round all-purpose kind of board so it's nice because I mean it's a decent board it has good stability for fishing you can even do sup yoga for it um, would it be the best sup yoga board ever I wouldn't say so no but I mean heck you can do it I definitely just standing uh, kneeling and doing a few positions like I I can definitely get behind doing yoga on this. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is also good for just casual touring. You know, like you can definitely paddle for hours on this board. Just make sure, you know, you bring lots of water and whatnot and the uh, correct supplies you need. So yeah, honestly, like props to the folks at Nixie, man. They've really put together a very good board. like. From the boards I've tested so far, this has been my favorite rock, my favorite one, just because it just feels so stable. And compared to other boards, like you have to kind of, when you're standing and paddling, you have to really keep correcting your feet. But this, it just feels like you're on a platform almost. And like, even if I, while I'm paddling, I can like do that, you know, I'm like not really falling or anything. It's, yeah. It's a great board. So, you know, if you want a board that will grow with you, definitely recommend this board 100%.